Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. we Will do. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hello? Anyone there? Come on, will you? How'd you get here, anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. <sighs> so I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. 
Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You'll be in contempt of our warrants. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Ben. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that double stuff, but maybe not. <sighs> well, look-alike Angela was arrested. <sighs> she was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. <sighs> We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. 
Real nice. Keep looking. thing. I thought this was her way out. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace.
is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of crime. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder come you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done mother? to this child? They you have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor oh. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release demons. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It's too late. They are here among us. 
they are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. Then let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! <sighs> We can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad.
This fog is getting worse. Why would her bus be diverted this way? Makes no sense. No surprise there. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Maybe we need to check all our other options first. Right. Thought so. Come on. I want off this bridge as fast as possible. But not that fast. Someone has to go first. You leave. I'll be right behind you. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No, Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. What's going on? Why, why do you look like Angela? Your words have little meaning to me, but I beg you. Help me. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for Holy. us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very fix. Isaac.
What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now, don't you think? You really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. The boys have some interesting theories. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, Ghosts, death, and demons? What could possibly tie all of these souls together? 
I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? You're going it alone. Brave. Independent. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead, soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. You are going to tell me right now what happened to my double on that bridge. We need to focus on what we're doing now, not on what's already behind us. You two the Brotherhood of Silence now? The poor fragile woman can't take it? Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. Can we keep moving? I don't feel safe here. Let's stay away from that bridge. I'm all for putting as much distance between us and that hideous thing as we can. Pretty sure Daniel and Taylor would be thinking the same thing. Out of sight, quick! Best to keep out of his way, I reckon. That woman's final words keep buzzing in my head. To end what's happening in Little Hope, the little girl has to be stopped. Was she warning you or the people who were with her? I couldn't tell. Come on, let's go. I'll go in and take a look around.
How you doing? I I'm wondering if that uh, thing could be coming after us. Don't think it's coming after us. What makes you so sure? That has to be a one-off. Some circus freak on the loose. Something like that. What's that? Nothing, probably. I heard something. I don't like this. I want to go another way. Don't think there is another way. Quite the tourist trail. Not a place I want to revisit. Hey, over here. You gotta check this out. That thing could still be around here. In the water. No, we left that thing way behind. We must have. Oh, shit. You're going first, right? You weigh half what I do. Better if you lead. I'm not crossing this crapped out bridge, no way. To find the others, we gotta cross. We got no choice. Fine. I'm heading across, you can follow me. If the bridge is still standing. Okay then. You see this? Let's get out of here. <gasps> Daniel! <gasps> get your hands off us! Quiet. I'll pick you. Mary? Mary? Mary! I am over this way! Mary. The fountain of all evil is here. That little kid is the evil here? I don't I don't get it. My beloved Amy proclaimed it so with her dying testimony. If this evil is to end, Mary must be stopped. Who in the hell are you? Why do you look just like John? I have no answers for you. Perhaps I'm already under a witch's spell. There it lies. I found it. How did you come by this? Fashioned with my own hand. I take it to protect you. Suspicion and betrayal walk side by side in Little Oak. No one is safe. Please, Tabitha, let me keep it!
Nothing. No working phone anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we really are trapped here. Still no sign of them? Nope. Not yet. I just hope they're both okay. I figured we'd have found the bus driver by now. Wonder where he's at. Why can't you leave us alone? I think she wants us to go after her. You want to follow her? She could be leading us into danger, even a trap. The two girls we've seen. One is from the past. This one is from here and now. Maybe the girl we're seeing here is somehow a mirror image of the girl from the 17th century. Don't you want to wait for Daniel and Taylor? If they were coming this way, they'd be here by now. <laughs> Stay loose. Who knows what's up ahead? Hey, wait for us! Shoo! Ugh! Disgusting! Guys? You there? Angela, shit, no! What did she do to deserve that? It's just you and me now. Until Taylor and Daniel get to us. Hey! There's something blocking the door. Give me a hand, will ya? This place is a museum of some kind. She in there? Relax. This doesn't feel right. Stay focused. We're not having a rerun of what just happened to Angela. You sure about that? I'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. Once we're out of here, we'll hook up with the others. That's if they're still alive.
Why is this kid out here on her own? It's strange. Maybe she's linked to Mary somehow? Gotta be. Though how and why, I'm not sure of yet. This is what the trial was all about. People being in cahoots with the devil. Right. And this kid, Mary, who snitched on everyone. That's gotta be the girl we're seeing. Hey, take a look at this. I've seen this before. Where? On the road outside that shitty little bar we stopped at. Angela and me saw it laying there, picked it up. Right before that kid Mary scared us for the first time. Interesting. You think she maybe let us here? Wanted us to see this? Let's take a proper look. What the hell, Professor? There are many, many stories about how spirits can attach themselves to objects. Sure, in movies. Take it easy, will you? What if Mary's spirit is somehow attached to this thing? We burn it, and this could all end right here. Look at it another way. Maybe by burning her precious things, it's just gonna piss the kid off. You might be right. We can get out this way. Where'd that little girl get to? She let us in here and then disappeared. Maybe that was her plan all along. Lead us to the puppet. Job done. I'm not sure about that.
Almost out of juice. No signal out here anyway. <laughs> 